Hey guys, welcome to Jen's Crafted Chaos. Today I have a quickie for you. Um, basically, we are going to make gesso. There are a few different kinds of gesso. Um, there's clear, there's white, there's black. That's basically it. <laughs> um, however, <clears throat> the regular gesso recipe has gone around the internet um, like crazy and we can find it anywhere. Um, but the clear gesso recipe is something that I, it was a little harder to find. Um, also, the basic clear gesso recipe calls for calcium carbonate, um, which is not something people generally have around their house. And I certainly didn't last night when I was, you know, getting all this together for you guys. So I found a recipe for cornstarch and I found a recipe for baby powder, I believe. Um, anyhow, I did both. Um, but the one I liked the best is the one we're going to do, which is the cornstarch. And I'm not sure if you can see or if it's backwards. Um, we need a quarter cup of glue two tablespoons of bottled or filtered water, and one and a half to three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, you wanna do the first two until they're completely dissolved, and I will show you exactly what it needs to look like before you add your cornstarch. So, here you go. Let's get the glue in. Now this glue, it can just be regular school glue. PVA glue, um, tacky glue, basically what you have would, would work, um, most likely. Alright, now the two tablespoons, just get yeah, two tablespoons of water. I find that the spatula and the mixing bowl work a lot better for me because I tend to make a bit of a mess. Um, now, like I said, you just really want to incorporate these together until, until they look like they belong together. <laughs> because clearly right now they don't. Again, like I said, I worked on uh, a lot last night. I made a texture paste. I made um, a couple different gessos. Um, a couple different clear gessos. I didn't make a black gesso, um, but basically the recipe for the black gesso, instead of the acrylic paint, the white acrylic paint, you want to use black acrylic paint. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. All right, now check this out. This is exactly the texture you want before you start adding your cornstarch. So, next. I ended up having to go all the way to three last night, so I'm going to go ahead and just start at three. Um, this can vary depending on temperatures um, of your, you know, of your house. Oh, all sorts of things it can um, vary on, but you always want to start with the least amount because <clears throat> you can always add more, but you can't take out. <laughs> now, um, remember that this is glue you're working with, so it's going to be a little, a little gloppy, but that's all right. Just, just work with it um, because it, it will come together for you. It will, it will turn out pretty nice if you do it, if you do it right. Just be patient. Um, and remember, this is free. <laughs> so, if you are just starting out and you don't really, you know, want to go spend all the money on expensive art supplies, this is a easy fix for that. And it works just as well as regular gesso. I mean, as, yeah, as, as store-bought gesso. I actually tested them. I'll show you that as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm a, I've got I'm right-handed and the camera's on my left, 
because it was not easy trying to find a good spot to, to work with. Oh, and the texture paste that I made, that is fabulous. That came out wonderful. It, it's almost whipped, like, it reminds me of a fluffy, light molding, molding, modeling paste. Uh, yeah, like, it's like a, it's like a light uh, modeling paste. It's very, very fluffy, and, and it, and it held up very well. All right, now I could probably continue to mix this, but I'm sure you're getting bored with watching. So let's just get to business. All right, let's see here. Let's get us a brush. A brush we can work with. So I'll just use this one. Now let me show you. Let me show you what I got here. Um, this was a little tester that I did earlier today. I just kind of started a little collage just to see because here you can see the texture. <laughs> I'm sorry. The clear gesso, the coverage that it's put onto the watercolor paper, it's 140 pound watercolor paper, and how well it worked to collage. Because like I said, it has glue in it. So yeah, it, it worked for collage. It's another, that's something I really uh, would look for <laughs> um, in, in a good, um, <laughs> In a good clear gesso. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's been a long night. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. I just got some regular cardstock just to check it out and see the coverage. I also tested it with the dryer and it worked. Try and look at that. The texture is perfect. Minus the dog hair. We could definitely do without the dog hair. No. Keep in mind, it's a primer, and it's supposed to come out clear, so yeah, you're not going to see a whole lot, which is good, because that's, you know, we want it to be clear. That's its purpose. Um, alright, there we go. That's on a lighter color. Here's a different, actually, texture altogether. And it goes on so smooth. It really does. All right. Let's grab. Let's grab a dryer and go from there. See how this works. Come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. All right, so as you can see, well, actually, I can see a little bit. I don't know if you can see. 
Um, I can see a, a little bit right, right in this area. Um, but that could actually be the paper because, well, because that's what it's doing. Um, here, complete coverage. Mm, you know, it, it seems to work. Um, obviously, more tests can be done, but, um, if you want to, you know, check it out, go ahead and try it. Again, the recipe is a quarter cup of... PVA, white glue, two tablespoons of water, dissolve it completely, and then that's when you want to add your one and a half to three tablespoons of cornstarch, and you want to mix thoroughly until you come up with the desired consistency that you like, that you're comfortable with. Um, and, you know, again, everybody's isn't always going to be the same, so whatever works for you, that's another good thing about making it yourself you get you know what's in it um let's see i've also got recipes um here is the white gesso that that i made last night and i really like this i made this out of talcum powder and it was half a cup of talcum powder one tablespoon of white glue one tablespoon of white paint and then water to desired consistency now most of these recipes are in the same you know ballpark they pretty much either have talcum powder baby powder um, uh, or cornstarch or baking soda you know so anyhow that's what this one is and I mean, I really, it's a little thick. Uh, you can, if, if it comes out too thick for you the next day. It's got a lot of tooth in it, too, you can tell. Um, and if it comes out too thick for you, you can always add a little bit of water. Um, I mean, it's yours, you know, do what you want with it, throw it out, make more, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> Alright, and last, but not least, is the texture paste, which I'm totally in love with. Look at this. Doesn't it look like, I don't know, some sort of terribly unhealthy dessert? <laughs> <clears throat> if it had a cherry on top, I would probably try to eat it. Okay, anyway, yeah, this is the texture paste, and this is the recipe for that. A half a cup of baking soda, two tablespoons of white glue, one to two tablespoons of white acrylic paint. Um, and really, you can use any kind of white acrylic. Um... I wouldn't go with anything too watery um, or anything old. And then um, water, if needed, but I didn't need any water for this texture base at all. It turned out just great. All right, um, that is it for today, guys. I, I hope today's went a little better than the other days. Um, Remember, we are having um, the giveaway, and it is quite a few things. If you want to check out what's in it, you can see it on my um, my first video. All right, if you enjoyed this, then please come back and see me again. I am going to probably start with doing some short videos just until I get comfortable with doing this. Um, and you know, we'll go from there. Uh, but you guys have a great day, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Oh, please subscribe and comment. Um, good, bad, indifferent, doesn't matter. Just let me know you're there. And um, that's it. You guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.